Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I've actually got a really, really exciting video. I have been invited to a lunch with Stacey Solomon, which is for her new collection with George by Asda. And I've seen the collection and it is so, so nice. I've only seen photographs of it. So today we're having a three course lunch and then we're going to be looking at the new collection as well, which I'm really, really excited for. And to be able to kind of meet someone that I've admired for a long time. And I actually watched Stacey when she was on The X Factor. I watched that when I was a teenager with my family. And yeah, now to be kind of going to an event and hopefully being able to meet her and talk is so surreal and also really exciting. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I've obviously got no kind of obligation to do that, but I thought it would be a really nice thing to vlog and show a bit of behind the scenes and show the new product line. So yeah, I'm about to drive to London now. So I will see you in a couple of hours. Okay, so I am now in London. I'm not actually sure how well you'll be able to hear or see me because it's obviously a very busy place and it's also one of the hottest days of the year. It's over 30 degrees today, which is kind of ironic because I'm going to an autumn press lunch. <laughs> but it's just the way the weather seems to work here in England. We have high highs and low lows in terms of heat and temperature, but I am just walking there now. I'm gonna leave the camera because I'm sweltering, so I'm gonna try and find a little bit of shade. I am back in the cottage. Sorry, I've taken my shirt off again because it is the middle of a heat wave, but I got back a lot later than expected. And I was actually planning on maybe going and spending some time with my parents down in Devon with Mikey as well, my sister. But got back too late, so haven't done that, but we're gonna go tomorrow. So I'm gonna carry on the vlog then and I will catch you up all about the event when I'm on the way to Dartmouth tomorrow because yeah it was so so good I might actually quickly show you what was in the goodie bag because it was so lovely and yeah I'll tell you properly about it tomorrow but basically I've just had a massive massive bout of homophobia coming through on my Instagram for no reason and Luckily, I am sure enough in myself and my sexuality that I don't kind of feel the need to justify that or feel the need to even reply to those kind of horrible people. But I hate the idea that someone out there, maybe who's seeing my content, who's 15 or 16 or whatever, and maybe hasn't come out to their parents or isn't sure on their sexuality, I hate the thought that they see a confident, Twen late 20s married gay man getting that kind of hate and abuse and in any way it would kind of put them off coming out I really just thinking about that makes me really sad so yeah trying to think of something that I can do and maybe share and post on kind of Instagram and TikTok to I guess address that and and let anyone who may be in that like younger or 
vulnerable position of not kind of telling people who they are yet that stuff like that won't bother you because honestly it does not bother me at all and I really appreciate the people messaging me on Instagram and saying like I can't believe you get these kind of messages because I've shared some to my stories but honestly I can because a lot of people I think believe that homophobia isn't a thing anymore and also believe that being a gay person is really glamorized in the media like I know that a lot of celebrities, if they've come out in the past, people think like, oh yeah, they're, here we go, everyone loves them. And like, I get that that is a thing and that a lot of people, there's like a stereotype of having a gay best friend and having like being gay and being more fashionable and all of those things. But I, sorry, the dogs have just come in. Hello. But I just, can't understand that people have said to me like in the last couple of years people that we're quite close to that homophobic abuse and that kind of stuff isn't real anymore and isn't really a thing and we're really lucky which I know we are lucky compared to a lot of people in the past and a lot of people in the present but it's very much real and it feels to me like it's getting worse and worse obviously being in a position where I'm kind of exposing myself online as well. Obviously, it's going to open up the floodgates to more negativity and more people putting their, not even opinions, but just wrong views onto me and other people who follow me. But yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's really riled me up the last kind of half an hour just thinking about how other people might read into that. So. I don't know, I'm gonna go to bed anyway and yeah, catch up with you maybe tomorrow when I'm in the car, maybe just before so that I can show you those goodies. But yeah, I've got lots of work and meetings to do before we head down to Dartmouth for the weekend. Good morning, it's now the next day and I wanted to start off by saying that I'm sorry for getting so riled up yesterday evening before I went to bed, but I think it's good to share my passion especially on YouTube where I can talk a bit more freely with you all but yeah I hope you understand that that wasn't me trying to disrespect anyone or upset anyone by bringing that up I know that sometimes without kind of warning that I'm going to be talking about things that may upset or offend someone and when I say upset or offend I mean maybe someone who hasn't come out or struggling with their sexuality I don't mean I'm not trying to kind of enable bullies in any way <laughs> but I had a really good night's sleep considering the heat it's about 30 degrees today so very very warm but I wanted to show you what was in the goodie bag from the Stacey Solomon event which was such a nice treat I haven't really looked through this other than seeing this Biscuiteers biscuit, which is actually one of Stacey's dogs and it has a note on to say, thank you so much for coming. I hope you love the range as much as I've loved creating it with Georgia Asda. Lots of love, Stacey. How cute, very, very cute. Yeah, I haven't looked through the rest yet, so I thought I would open that with you guys. But firstly, I want to say, one, how impressive the range actually is. It looks so nice, really, really high quality, really neutral, and most importantly, really affordable. So the range, over 50% of it, has been designed to cost less than two pounds per item, and it includes crockery, candle holders, candles, ornaments, cushions, throws, all of that kind of stuff. So it's a really good way of bringing nice, attractively designed homeware into people's houses who maybe can't afford higher end pieces. And that was kind of the whole message of the day is that you don't need to be earning tens of thousands of pounds to be able to afford to have a safe, warm home that you can love and enjoy. So I was so grateful to be invited and Stacy was also the loveliest, warmest person. Just so friendly, really just grateful and humble. And yeah, you can tell that her and Jo, who Jo was there as well, are just really, really good people. So yeah, it was really lovely to meet 
them and the food was amazing. I will have shown you a few details from the day, but yeah, it was so, so good. Also just reminded me that I get a lot of these kind of jars from George as well. So if you're in Asda or you have one nearby, that is kind of where I get a lot of these jars from because they're so much more affordable. So, oh, these are really nice. I've got some candle holders. I actually really love those, kind of how simple they are. They're obviously quite contemporary, but with the wood finish, especially in that kind of faded warm color, I think that would go really nice in our home, down the dining table. I might actually have to get two or three more of those, especially at Christmas time. I think those would look really lovely because the silhouette almost looks a bit like a nutcracker or like an angel that you'd have on the top of a Christmas tree. So I think that's really lovely. And that one's for a candlestick and that one a pillar candle. So those are lovely. And then I'm guessing there's a couple of mugs in there as well, which we all know I love a mug. Let's see what they're like. Let's snuggle at home with Stacy. That's really cute. How adorable. Let's snuggle. I'm guessing the other one is the same. Yeah, let's snuggle. How cute. Do you know what I think that would actually be really nice for? Because we all know I have a lot of mugs as it is and I don't actually have much space for more. But that would be really nice as a kind of autumn or Christmas gift for a friend or family member. I'm thinking I could kind of fill that with some hot chocolates, like some sachets and maybe some marshmallows and then wrap it in cellophane with some ribbon and that'd be a really nice kind of autumnal gift for a friend. So yeah, that's super, super lovely. And yeah, just such a nice event to be invited to. And again, I say it all the time, but I want you to know watching my videos as well that I feel immensely grateful to be able to do these kind of things. And with my job obviously being quite isolated, I'm in home, in home? I'm in my home creating content or I'm working on design projects or they're doing a lot of stuff on my own. So to be able to go and meet some lovely, lovely people like I met Sophia from this colorful nest, something colorful nest, our colorful nest and Mo from Mo at the jungle, Mo in the jungle shelf. If you follow them, they are both so lovely as well as loads and loads of other lovely people. Charlotte actually from Oh, I can't remember her account name, something Greedy, the Greedy Home. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I've got that right. Miss Greedy's Home. She was super, super lovely and yeah, really nice to meet people face to face and be able to chat. I just wish I could have kind of stayed and chatted for longer. <laughs> anyway, I have quite a lot of work to catch up on now. So I'm going to do that for a couple of hours and then I have a meeting we're going for a little bit of food and then we're heading down to Dartmouth to see my family. So that will be, yeah, really lovely. Looking forward to it and we'll catch up with you in a bit. back in the cottage today and I've honestly had a really busy day with work just been trying to catch up on various things and just get myself organized ready for the week ahead which is looking like quite a busy one so we are going to Dartmouth again on Friday I'm in London on Thursday I'm at an antiques fair tomorrow and then I'm shooting all day on Wednesday so 
it's quite a busy day of trying to cram in other projects and writing and design work so I've been trying to get all of that done today and I've been doing some recipe planning as well and trying to just get things in order a bit. I don't know if anyone else is the same but I really struggle sometimes with kind of regularly cooking healthy balanced dishes because life gets busy and I end up having not that it's unhealthy but like a stir fry or kind of the same things on repeat and I try and use my cookbooks as much as I can so this week I'm using Half Based Harvest by Tegan what's her last name Tegan Gerard and then I've also got the flexible vegetarian so I picked a few recipes out of those and it's nearly four o'clock so I'm gonna go and do a little workout because we were very very overindulging throughout our time in Dartmouth which was great but I am trying to be good at exercising sort of three or four times a week where I can and I have noticed that it's really helping kind of my well-being and my mood and all of those things so yeah, I'm gonna try and get a workout done and then come back and I think I'm gonna make some soup for dinner because even though the sun is still shining, the temperatures have cooled here massively now. So it's around 24 or 23 degrees, I think, today. But last week it was like 30, 31. So yeah, very, very grateful for the slightly cooler temperatures. And we had soup ingredients in the fridge from last week that we didn't go around to using. So yeah, going to make a nice vegetable soup, do a food shop with lots of ingredients and yeah, generally just try and get stuff done and catch up on lots and lots of life out Oh, I also had a package of some skincare things which I wanted to show you quickly. So I was sent these pieces by Aborian, who I've spoken about loads on here. I absolutely love their products so, so much. Like, I couldn't love them more. I love every single one. So they've sent the Skin Hero Peeling, which I've used a lot. I use it once a week for two minutes you can you can do it up to five minutes but my skin's quite sensitive and honestly that helps my skin so much i will leave it linked down below and then they've sent a bamboo creme frappe gel cream moisturizing gel cream i don't know what this is although in the next few weeks we are going to be redecorating the bathroom which is in dire need of being redone so yeah I'm gonna be doing a kind of big clear out of the bathroom and showing you all of that the paint actually has arrived so I'll go through that with you a bit later but I'm just gonna unbox this oh that smells really nice I'll put a little bit on my hand so the consistency is kind of like this it's like somewhere between a gel and a moisturizer Oh, that feels really nice. I mean, I've never had a problem with any of their products, so I would imagine I would love these ones equally <laughs> as much. So I will put that in my to try box, which I have in the bathroom of kind of new products that I've either bought or have very, very kindly been sent by a brand. And then the last thing is this ginseng lotion i'm not sure what this would be for i guess kind of like a toner uh, for its smoothing and moisturizing properties it helps to give a glow to your complexion immediately it helps to hydrate the skin and give a feeling of comfort your skin will look radiant and is noticeably smoother and softer apply to the face in the morning and evening for a visibly smoother like skin mm. i will give that a go and i will let you know in a few weeks how I'm getting on with those and when I'm redoing the bathroom. But I shouldn't procrastinate any longer. I should go to the gym and do a workout. I'm doing a center program, which is an app that you can use. You pay for it yearly or monthly, I think. And it's so, so good. Again, this is, I fully pay for this, but I will leave it linked down below in case anyone's interested. But I do a 
kind of at gym self-guided workout program i think it will take me until christmas to finish and it's doing on average three to four workouts a week and they're between 30 and 45 minutes so it's not too bad and it just tells you exactly what to do you don't need to think you can just put my headphones in get it done any time in the day and just helps me feel a little bit more productive and like I've done something. Not that you should ever feel like you have to, even if you can kind of go on a walk or just do like five minutes every few days of some movement physically, I think that's really good for you. And I do it more for my mind over anything else now, which is the biggest difference from when I used to go to the gym. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I have been to the gym this afternoon, like I said. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just cleaning. <laughs> just cleaning the soup maker, which you would have <laughs> Just cleaning the soup. It's not going <laughs> Is it going to go again? Yeah. The suit maker was just cleaning the ninja suit maker, which I don't know if I've really spoken about on the vlog, but it is so good. I make all of my soups in it, so I will leave that link down below because I really recommend it and it cleans itself. So ahead of cozy season, I'd recommend getting one in. But yeah, we had a delicious soup and I went to the gym and I did some exercise, which was good. I'm feeling quite high I would say because I had some good news today didn't we? Very good news, yeah. Yes. Some good, sorry Mikey's here but he's just out working out of camera so I won't disturb him <laughs> but yeah I had some really good work news which is exciting and yeah I'm looking forward to kind of sharing more about that in the future but just have been working quite late but also relaxing. We've been re-watching This Country, I don't know if you've seen it before, let me know if you have but I've been reading Daisy May Cooper's book which is called Don't Laugh You'll Only Encourage Her, is that right? Yeah. Something like that and it's made us want to re-watch This Country which is so funny and is just quite a dig at kind of Cotswold life and village life and I grew up in quite a small village so I feel like I can really relate to all of the like window twitchers and the types of people that you sometimes get and I just find it really hilarious so yeah we've been enjoying re-watching that and whilst working as well just sat, sat on our laptops or phones getting stuff done so that's been really nice but I appreciate this has been a very very random vlog which I haven't really done for a while but Hopefully you kind of got to see a look at a rather nice week from being in London with Stacey, going to Dartmouth with family and then having a bit of a normal-ish working day to day. But I really loved doing a bit of a more casual vlog as well and tomorrow I'm actually off to Sunbury Antiques which is on twice a month and I'm going with my mum so I'll be vlogging that as well. So. If you want to see that, please do make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.